Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and this IXL deals with solving a system of equations by graphing it. So here are two equations. I'm going to graph them, and I'm going to look for where they intersect. So here's my first equation. It starts with a y-intercept at 1. It's in slope-intercept form, and it goes up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. Then I switch to the purple line. It's starting at 3, and it's going up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1. And where do those lines come together? Wow, that's a tough one to start with. Right there, are they coming together at negative, negative 1, negative 3? I think they're coming together right there. I think that's where it's all coming. Whoa, that's a line. She erased that. I think they're coming together right there. It's a little bit tough, but I'm going to call that at negative 1, negative 3. Let's see if that's correct. Let's see, negative 1, negative 3. That's right. Yay. Next one. So let's start with the green line. So I'm going to go to 6. I'm going to go up 3 over 1, a nice slope-intercept equation. This guy starts at negative 1. I'm going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. And it looks like they're coming together right here at negative 1, 3, negative 1, 3. Let's see another one. Okay, this is a good one. Let's look at this first equation. I have y equals negative x plus 3. Remember, this is actually y equals negative 1 over 1 x plus 3. So I'm going to go down 1 over 1. So I'm starting at 3, going down 1 over 1. This one, the second equation, purple, I'm starting at negative 3 and going up 1 over 1. And they're coming together right there at 3 comma 0. This one, so I start at 4, I go down 2 over 1, and this green one is x equals 3, x equals 3. Where's x equals 3? It's right here, and it's a vertical line. So everything's coming together right here at 3, comma, negative 2. 3, comma, negative 2. Okay, two more equations in slope-intercept form, starting at 3, going up 2 over 1, starting at 4, going up 3 over 1. And it looks like they're coming together right here at negative 1, 1. Excellent. Okay, good. Now we're getting into a different style of equation. So these are both in standard form. And you have two options for standard form, both of which we've already talked about. One is to make many equations. So I could go, let's go with x minus 2y equals 2. So x equals 2 and negative 2y equals 2. So y equals negative 1. So there's my first line. I can put a point at 2 and negative 1. And my second line, x minus y equals negative 2. So x equals negative 2 and negative y equals negative 2. So y equals positive 2. So x equals negative 2, y equals positive 2. And it's coming together at negative 6, negative 4. Excellent. Okay, so now we have two equations. One is in standard form. So let's start with this one. So x minus 4y equals negative 8. So x equals negative 8. And negative 4y equals negative 8. So y equals 2. Okay, so x equals negative 8. y equals 2. There's my first line. And the second one's in slope-intercept, so it's going to start at negative 1, go up 1 over 1. It looks like I'm coming together at 4, 3. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, interesting. Slope intercept, start at negative 4. Go down for 1, 2, 3, 4, over 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this one's y equals 0. Well, that one's confusing. y equals 0. Is that up and down? or Well, let's think about this. This is y equals 2, y equals 1. So this is y equals 0. And now it's coming together at 0, negative 5. Sorry, incorrect. Oh, it's at negative 5, 0. I, I mixed it up, Mr. Barr. Okay, keep going. I, I mixed up my points, didn't I? All right, let's do this one quickly. So x equals 4, y equals 4. And x equals 5. That comes together at 5, negative 1. Let's see, so y equals x. And y equals 5. That comes together at 5, 5. I'm looking for a very specific type that I a problem to do for you. This one, x equals negative 2, y equals negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, y equals negative 1. So they're coming together at negative 1, negative 1. Ah, okay, these are both in slope-intercept form. Start at 5, go down down 2 over 1, start at negative 1, go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, so it puts it at 1, 3. Okay, good. This one right here. This will be my last one. So if I look at this first one, negative 2y plus 12 equals 3x. This is in some weird form that I've never seen before. So I want it to be y equals mx plus b. That's what I want to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 12 and put it right there. So that's going to give me negative 2y equals 3x minus 12 because I subtracted 12 from both sides, but it's still not in the correct form. So now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. So I end up with y equals negative 3x over 2 plus 6. That's the equation I'm going to graph. So I have 6, and I'm going to go down 3 over 2. 1, 2, 3 over 2. Let's look at this blue line, and I'm going to do the same thing, negative 3x plus 3 equals negative y. I'm just going to switch around. Negative y equals negative 3x plus 3. It's looking closer to slope-intercept form. Dividing everything by negative 1, y equals 3x minus 3. There it is. So I'm forcing this into slope-intercept form. Remember, at some point we sang a song, it was move the x, divide by the y. It's not hard, so give it a try. This is a version of that. I'm moving the equation around, manipulating it, so I can get it into slope-intercept form. Once it's in slope-intercept form, I can graph it. So I'm graphing negative 3, up 3, over 3, and something's off. Where did I lose it? Something is off. Did I lose it in that top equation? Okay. Negative y equals negative 3x plus 3, dividing everything by negative, starting at negative 3, going, ah, uh, yeah, that was, I lost it right there. It's starting going up 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1, there it is. Okay, so I just graphed it incorrectly. My equations are good, I graphed it wrong, and that puts it at 2, comma 3, there you go. That's right. 
So I think that's enough. I think I've done every type of problem you're going to see there. Give it a shot. Get a whiteboard out. Do not try to do all this stuff in your head. Thanks for watching.